Hey, how you doing? I'm Dave Dugan. Well, of course, you can just call me Dave. Some people actually uh, call me the Space Cowboy. Some call me the, the Gangster of Love. You can call me Maurice, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Anyway, I feel like I owe some of you an explanation uh, for a, a ritual that I've made myself part of for uh, going on eight months now. Every Saturday morning, I get up and I, uh, I watch the Three Stooges and I eat a bowl of Cocoa Puffs. And, and some people say, you know, why? And uh, well, I'll tell you why. Uh, first of all, the Three Stooges, I've always enjoyed them and they've never really been out of my life. Uh, uh, the uh, Cocoa Puffs as well has always had a place in the pantry on the cereal shelf, although it's not something I, I do every Saturday. But now I have been because uh, it's to create an escape for myself. I'll just be honest here, to get away from all the non-factual news and hostility on social media. And I think we all need that. We, you know, it's, it's healthy. Just, well, healthy, just like, uh, just like the Cocoa Puffs with nine essential, uh, no, this isn't, this evidently isn't one of those cereals with nine essential, uh, just uh, cuckoo for chocolate milk. Uh, so, hmm. I guess I didn't really know what I was putting into my body. But anyway, um, you guys can pick whatever you want. You don't have to do Three Stooges and Cocoa Puffs. What's your favorite cereal and your favorite show that kind of puts you in a comfort zone, you know? Maybe you like uh, the Jetsons or the Flintstones or uh, Clutch Cargo. Uh, you know, but pick your show and, uh, and set a time every week so you can kind of have your own personal escape would be my suggestion. I don't want to tell you how to live your life. Um, I, I've, I've found out over the years that I've so liked the Three Stooges that I have got quite a collection of Three Stooges stuff. I didn't realize that family and friends and, and my own purchases uh, have uh, amassed quite a collection. I'll just take a, a minute and show you some of the highlights real quick. But I, I've got lots of I've got lots of Three Stooges books. This is probably my favorite because it was actually written by uh, Mo Howard himself. So that's a good one. And then uh, lots of photos uh, or, or pictures. And my wife has actually uh, gone to the trouble to uh, frame many of these, which I really appreciate that. By the way, that was really uh, important to me. Uh, you know, we all have our, our reasons for getting married. And, and for me, uh, you know, it was real important that uh, whoever I, I met would, uh, would, you know, hate deep fancy all kind there's a whole list um have a slight appreciation at least for the three stooges and let's see and the rest of it i can't talk about actually it's a little, little thing called a prenup thanks to that uh but uh yeah i don't think i could truly be with someone unless they sort of at least had an appreciation for the three stooges enough of that here's some more uh collectible stuff oh here's one this is i don't know where my friend i think mike got this uh at an antique store or something but i bet i'm sitting on two million dollars right here uh there's three stooges stamps i got three stooges coasters got a uh a three stooges shot glasses um let's see this is a three stooges mug which now that it's getting to be the uh, colder season uh i can see myself on saturday mornings having some hot chocolate in there while i enjoy the three stooges and my cocoa puffs that's right Hot cocoa and cocoa puffs. Don't you, don't you judge my chocolate intake. Uh, oh, back here. Now, let me turn this on. We've got some Three Stooges uh, figurines. These are just some other collectibles. And uh, in fact, there's a story behind uh, these right here. Let me grab Larry. Um, yeah, here we go. So it was the earthquake of 1987. Had the Three Stooges sitting on top of an entertainment center. And... Um, do whatever it was on the 5.4 in the Richter scale. I don't know. Uh, there was a lot of shaking, and the Three Stooges all toppled off the entertainment center. There was quite a bit of damage. Larry actually had the worst damage. His skull was uh, was cracked, and uh, and so I had him repaired. I wanted to, I don't know. It was important to have the originals, not just buy new ones. So I had Larry because uh, when he toppled off the entertainment center, I'm almost sure I heard. Uh, um, uh, Curly had his stand uh, was uh, busted up. Believe it or not, Mo. Yeah, this is no surprise. Was the only one that didn't have, <laughs> didn't suffer any, uh, didn't suffer any hardship during the uh, earthquake. Old Mo, uh, he came out intact. So uh, there you have it. Some uh, some Three Stooges. Uh, oh, did I show you this? I hope so. This is when the phone rings. Instead of the ring of their phone, you get. To, oh boy, a phone call. Ah, oh, see the uh, sarcasm of Mr. Larry Fine, underrated. Yeah, that's better than a phone ringing right there. So I hope um, you probably want to share this with your Three Stooges friends, I bet. this uh, this You should share this with them. They'd, they'd, lo they'd love this, even if you hated it. And 
Uh, again, I hope that you have a Saturday morning escape like I've put together for myself uh, because I think it's important to escape. Mine's Cocoa Puffs and the Three Stooges every Saturday morning, you know. Pick your own cereal, by the way. I said you could pick your own TV show. Pick whatever cereal you guys like. And let, well, if it's something like Kicks or or Tricks, then I uh, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll light a candle and and pray for you, which is so much more humane than the old uh, eye poke. Mm -hmm.